the thyroid gland and the two pairs of parathyroid glands embedded in it are very important in humans. The thyroid not only secretes the hormones like thyroxin, which help maintain a constant endothermic body temperature, but also there are cells which secrete calcitonin. This, along with the parathormone from the parathyroid gland, maintain a constant level of calcium in the body. These glands have a long history, dating back to the early deuterostomes, such as hemichordates and echinoderms, and certainly by chordates such as tunicates and lancelets, there is a homologue of the thyroid gland known as the endostyle, which forms in the ventral pharynx. It sequesters iodine, has a number of the enzymes expressed in the thyroid glands of vertebrates, and produces the thyroid hormone receptors and the thyroid binding globulins. In jawless fish, and then in the jawed nathostomes, the uh, tissue of the thyroid gland is organized into follicles. In nathostomes, the portion of the human uh, thyroid gland uh, which secretes calcitonin uh, originates, what's known as the ultimobronchial body. Uh, it is known in all jawed vertebrates where it produces calcitonin, and the thyroid gland stores more hormone than is immediately needed. The thyroid stimulating hormone secreted from the pituitary is known in osteocteans. In sarcopterygians, there are similarities with uh, the thyroid of the tetrapods, and in tetrapods, the first parathyroid glands evolve. In amniotes, the thyroid gland shares a number of functions, such as being important for skin, and it's even used in the molting of both hair and feathers uh, for growth. And in mammals, it was then modified to maintain a warm-blooded endothermic body temperature. Other changes, such as the embryological origin of the parathyroid gland and genes related to thyroid function, evolve. 